Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tom from the Misfit Mods. Here today to make a quick video here to show you how to install the downloader app and the plugin that is required for it to use on Android TV devices such as uh, the Mi Box or the NVIDIA Shield. Um, today we're going to install it on my NVIDIA Shield here and show you how to pop the plug in there. Uh, the reason why you need to add the plug in is because there was an issue with the uh, browser part of the app on the Play Store and the developer could not include it to be able to put it in the Play Store so it was removed and that's why we have to add it manually. So we're gonna start by going to the Play Store going up to search type in downloader and then type in buy. If you don't type in that buy it's going to bring up 500 different apps that are not downloaded that you're going to have to search through to find it. By typing in by, it brings it up right there. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. We're going to install. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to open it up. Allow your permissions. Click OK. All right, now, if you were to just leave it like this, if you were to click on Browser, you're going to get that message right there saying that uh, it's restricted. That's because there is no browser. So what we need to do here is install the browser. So we're going to type in browser.aftvnews. Dot com and then we're going to hit go and let's see here so we're going to go to settings because right now it's not set to allow unknown sources we're going to go down to downloader and we're going to turn that on so that it is allowed and then we're going to back out of it and so the file is successfully downloaded we're going to go ahead and we're going to install it first. And click done. And then we can go ahead and delete it. We don't need it anymore now that it's installed. All right, so now that we're there, go to our browser. We'll get the message that says it's in beta, which is OK. And you can see our browser's working. So now, if you wanted to download a file, you can go to Home. And we'll just download one of our APKs here. And there you go. That brings us right to our index of our APKs. And if we wanted to go ahead and install one, let's see here, one that I don't have already. I don't think I have the kids' room running on here. So we'll go ahead and click on kids' room. And there you go. It's downloading the APK for you. As soon as it's finished downloading, you'll get the message asking if you want to install it, which you will say yes. And like I said, anytime after you're done installing, an application you can go ahead and it's going to give you the option to delete the APK file always go ahead and delete it that'll keep you from building up a bunch of unneeded install files on your device to take up a lot of uh, space all right so and there you go it's going to bring you right to your install page going to say yes install And it will install and take care of your app for you. Get it all set. Done. I like said now it's done already, so we're going to delete it. And it's that simple. Now if we exit out of here, we can go find the Kids Room APK and use it like we would normally. So that's it, guys. It's that simple. Um, I know some of you prefer to use the Downloader app um, on your Android devices. It's not necessary. Um, it's necessary on Fire TV devices, but it's not necessary 
um, for just your your normal um, Android devices. But some people prefer to use it, so that's okay. But if you're going to use it on an Android TV device, you're going to have to install that plugin like I showed you. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, go ahead and leave some comments. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what you'd like to see, what you need to learn. Uh, and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching today, guys, and have a good one.